Hi, I'm Robert Lisatz and this channel is all about being safe, fit and prepared like a modern day samurai. And today I want to talk about the level of aggression, how to choose the right level of aggression. As you can see, I have no time to record a video in the woods or somewhere else. So I'm doing it on the way to work. <laughs> Crazy stuff. So. Lately I've been thinking a lot about the right level of aggression in certain self-defense situations. The problem is that we actually do not learn in martial arts classes, in self-defense classes, or it's an overlooked topic and we don't learn how to choose the right level of aggression in a certain situation because as a good friend of mine would say that the situation dictates the the tactic and the tactic the technique and i use often the example of a drunk man who's approaching you and who has just drunk too much and wants to give you a hug or flirt with you or whatever if you're a female and then because you learn so you destroy him <laughs> with chain punches elbows knees headbutts and so on so this means that your level of aggression was probably not probably for sure much too high and this, is, this can be a real problem because in critical situations you will use what you have learned in training and if you have learned only you know to use figuratively speaking atomic bombs and not also other more moderate weapons you will have a problem. When the adrenal, adrenaline, adrenaline, yes, adrenaline kicks in and when you have to choose a proper reaction, you will use what you have trained the most. And if you have trained the most, the most devastating techniques, you will use them. So what I would suggest that you don't fall into that trap is that you play through different scenarios during your training and you try to choose a level that is the right level for the right situation so this means sometimes for instance, in that example with that drunken man, uh, verbal de-escalation can be a proper reaction. If this doesn't help, you can walk away. This could be also a proper reaction and no harm is done. And you have to train this stuff, also the verbal stuff, because otherwise uh, you will come into such a situation and you will freeze because you have never practiced this stuff and this is why you have to give yourself different scenarios and examples how to react even if you know or not even because you know so many things for instance strikes uh, finishing holds uh, joint locks, strangles, and so on. You have to train to choose the right technique in the right situation. So this is why it's okay, for instance, to practice role play. And one can be the drunk man and the other can be the martial arts or self-defense guy and you go through different scenarios and you can also scale the whole thing for instance what do you do if this drunk man 
is starting to be aggressive. And then you have to find through sparring or scenario trainings the right response. Because if you don't do so, you have to remember that most of those things are ending in front of the court. And even though you were reacting in a self-defense situation, if you overdid the whole thing and if you overreacted and if you have chosen the most brutal <laughs> techniques to deal with a harmless thing, you will get sued and you can lose a lot, if not everything. So, this is my advice from me to you and check out, you know, also the other videos on my channel where we try to be modern samurai, where we research what it means to be a modern day samurai nowadays and see you in the next video. Bye!